Hey guys, Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. I'm here today just uh, out back of Shawnee College because I want to talk about something that's pretty abundant here. And it's this little thing right up here. And you've probably seen these things at home. This is a mud dauber nest. Now mud daubers are a type of wasp and we have several different species around here. They're kind of recognizable because they got this really long slim waist. And some of them are glossy bluish black, some of them are black and yellow or black and orange. But they all make these nests that they create out of mud. Now as we've been out here, this girl's been working on this one. And you can actually see the darker wet mud where she's been working on this case and it's still open. When she finally has that all uh, done to her satisfaction, she's going to lay an egg down in the end of that. And then she's going to fill it with something else. Then she's going to cover the end and probably actually add another layer of mud on the outside. Sometimes, like this one, it just looks like a big blob of mud. Sometimes it almost looks like old-fashioned organ pipes. Those are called the organ pipe mud daubers. And there are variations on these. But now, the female makes this nest. And what I want to do, I want to show you what's inside there. Now, you can see where I've pried this one off the wall. And we see this one's got several different chambers. And there are things in those chambers. I'm going to break it a little more open so we can see exactly what we got here. Now there, this wasp has pupated. And if I hadn't messed him up by doing this, he would have spent the winter in there as a pupa and then hatched out next spring or summer. But here's what I wanted to show you. Can you see what that is? Those are spiders. This whole thing is filled with spiders and right there is the larva wasp. Now, the really kind of horrible thing from a spider perspective is these guys are not dead. They've just been paralyzed. So she laid her egg in the chamber, then she went out collecting spiders, which she stung and paralyzed but they're still alive, so they don't rot. And they're in here with the larva, uh, with the larva wasp. Now, when the larva hatches, he'll start eating his way through those spiders one at a time. And here's another really weird thing. These larvae don't have an anus. They can't poop. So after he's eaten all the, uh, all the spiders, then he develops an anus, he poops, he seals the poop off in the end of that chamber so he doesn't have to deal with it. So he spends all winter as a pupa and then hatches out the next spring as a mud dauber. And sometimes these things are so full of spider nests, biologists studying spiders, the fastest way to find out what spiders are in an area is to look at some mud dauber nests. So spiders and mud daubers, how cool is that?